Tonight we had some people over at my house and we watched To Save a Life. And To Save a Life we see all the things that go on in the world around us, the things we choose to ignore, and we were convicted. We were shown that we are commanded to serve. And if we aren't going to let Christ change us, then the journey is pointless. I was really inspired by the people who showed up tonight because they all showed me that there can be dedication to our one and only God. And I know now that with their help and all of us uniting under his name, we can start a revolution that will change the world. This year is going to be a hard one for me and for all others who have taken my resolution to serve Christ 100%. It's not an easy task to stand up for what you believe. It's not an easy task to get up every day and read your devotion. It's not an easy task to read through the Bible. It's a long book. Nobody will ever question that. But we are commanded to do one thing, and that is to serve others. So if you fill out everything else, just remember that you are called to do that. You don't have to be perfect at it. You don't have to quote scripture every five seconds, but you do have to serve and live a life that brings Christ to someone. You have to set a witness that people can look at you and say, that guy's a Christian, and believe it. Now, I admit I'm not perfect, and I admit on some issues we will always differ. But I understand that I am called to serve. And if we all recognize that fact and get together, we can start a fire that will spread to everyone around us. And when they catch fire, it will spread to everyone around them. And if we keep doing that, we can set a fire that will change the world. But the question is, are we willing to carry the torch? Are we afraid that we're going to get burned in the process and let that stop us from picking it up? Fire is not an easy thing to touch. It's hot. It's dangerous. It can spread to any part, anywhere. It can destroy and it can create. It can be a beautiful thing or a destructive thing. The question is, are you going to set a fire that is holy? Or are you going to set a fire that is destructive and evil? I choose to take up the torch. I choose to set it on fire and create something glorious and beautiful. Like the phoenix, I expect it to burn until it can burn no more. And even from the ashes, God will rise up a new phoenix to spread his word. Are you willing to do that with me? If we all get together and we all do this, we will become something so powerful that God can use to just absolutely recreate and revolutionize how we see Christianity. We can change it from a religion into a real relationship, something that we all truly believe and we don't have to lie about every Wednesday and Sunday. Let's start something that we really feel passionate about. Let's start something that is contagious. Let's make a virus that is so catching when we get it, we won't even realize it's there. Before it's too late, we'll be where we need to be. One day at a time, we can change. And with every change we do, we can spread it to the rest of the world. Let's be a changing force. Let's catch fire. Let's spread. Let's become a disease that nobody sees coming. And by the time they do, they realize that it has changed the whole way they look at things. I know if we try hard enough, we'll realize that this is one thing that's mislabeled. Christianity and religion is not a disease. We've just lost track of what we're supposed to do. It should be the best infection we ever got. Something that will change us and build up our immune system. Something that will inspire us to be healthier, closer to God, more in the Word. I know we can do it. And this year I strive to do that. Will you take the pledge with me?